company specializes in loader attachments. We also do livestock buildings, but the loader attachments is our primary equipment that we sell nationwide. And what differentiates us is that we go that extra mile to build a quality product that is not here for just today and tomorrow, but for the long run. It's a great value for the customers. It's like any other investment. Uh, the more you put in, usually the more you get out, and that's where we uh, kind of find our sweet spot in this industry. We make a lot of the same piece parts and we have the same guy welding it all day long and we thought we could just do this a better way. With repeatable parts, we thought that we'd be able to do that much quicker and more efficiently, less rework and things like that. So the decision for robotics kind of started a little over a year ago actually and we'd been a little overwhelmed and not sure where to go and then we got kind of lined up with the CETA here in their cells and just started thinking about it and doing some work and it made sense for us and that simplified it and open the door to an opportunity that we thought we were maybe too small to have, but in turn it's fit perfectly. To start with, we've eliminated operation times, eliminated whole operations in general. Parts that we had to do multiple operations on, we were able to condense into one single operation on the robot. Uh, saved us 30 to 20% of the time manufacturing that single part. We got into robotics to, to not eliminate jobs, eliminate world welders, but more or less to train them to be better welders, to relieve fatigue on them, as well as relieve any holdups within the manufacturing process itself. In our experience, uh, what's really worth your time and money is the training. But the training on our cell down at Aceto was the biggest thing. We trained on our parts, on the cell that actually showed up at MDS, and it just brought our guys up here prepared, comfortable, and confident to run the robot.